Good morning and welcome to my shop again. Uh, this is Bruce. It's Friday morning. It's an absolutely gorgeous day in Western Australia. The spring is in the air. Um, we've, uh, we, we spoke earlier on this week uh, of the jobs ahead and a couple of things that we've done. Um, it hasn't uh, been 100% according to what I'd, I'd hoped it would be this week, but I had a few call outs for some getter outs to get some. Uh, uh, get some bolts out and repair some threads and so forth. Um, so that always disturbs the, the balance of things when you think all you can do this week is machining. At any rate, we had this DC motor um, that, uh, I don't know if we can see it there well, yeah, well the, the shaft is flogged out underneath here. But, but because um, there's no way we could um, take all this wiring out and, and redo it. We had two options. One of them is to make a sleeve um, and put a larger bearing in and the other one was to drill out the shaft and make a brand new shaft uh, with all these facets on it and so forth and press that in and that um, that was going to be expensive and problematic. So what we did, these are standard um, 6002s, uh, 12 mil shaft, this is a 12 millimeter shaft. So what we did was we found a, um, an imperial bearing, and, uh, which is a half inch shaft but, and slightly larger uh, on the OD. So what I did was I, um, I machined up a bush, uh, which equates to probably about um, three, 300 thou I think. Um, the outside is uh, is a half inch, uh, which is 500 thou, and the shaft is 471. Uh, so that's very, very little skin in that bush. At any rate, I've, I've mounted that bush in. We're probably going to put some bearing mount in the flogged out area there to sit it in. And at the same time, the bearing shell um, I've machined that out to suit the imperial bearing. So we managed to uh, fix this one uh, fairly fairly easily. Um, so that'll be, that's going to be picked up for delivery soon. The other item we had um, was this, um, this drive mechanism for a, uh, for a printing press, which comprises of this reduction gearbox, a right angle reduction gearbox. Um, and, and this DC motor. Now the DC motor um, shaft, it came to me because the, the keyway was flogged out. But when I looked at it, the area where, uh, where it fits into the, um, the input shaft, uh, the input shaft of the, um, of the gearbox, I could see that this whole area here was also flogged out and it was wobbly. So what I've done is I've had it powder covered uh, with a stainless steel covering um, and we machined it down and I've cut a keyway slightly wider than the previous keyway and w what I've done here um, so that I've actually cut that flogged out keyway out for wider and I've made this T key um, which is uh, seven, uh, seven point nine millimeters high uh, eight millimeters wide at the base and six millimeters wide where it goes into the um, goes into the input shaft so that that now provides me with a a solution to that shaft issue and when I offer them up there'll be a nice neat push in fit there uh, for the for the input into the input shaft so that's another successful job done uh, in regard to shafts the other item that's come in, uh, the other item I worked on yesterday was this, uh, some sort of a electric um, whatever that's uh, from, a, uh, from a mine site and the bearing, the bearing housing part here had been flogged out. So I've made up a brass um, insert and uh, I bored out the, counterboard out the, uh, uh, the base there and that, there's another video that's on that shows that work and I've fitted that bearing in. So this will also be going out this morning. 
Another job that's come in, or oh, I've, I've had it on order anyway, is these flexi hones. Now, there's several different sizes. <coughs> there's the large, this large flexi hone and the smaller one. Uh, I think this one's about a six inch, yeah, this is a six inch one, and this is a four and five eighths or something. And what I need to do with these is, uh, there's ten of these, I need to cut them off shorter and make up these adapter ad adapter uh, sh shaft adapters. Uh, they go on there and, and uh, they screw into a long shaft arrangement. Um, I've made these before, this is uh, probably the third in the series that I've made. Um, and they, I've made up these extensions of one metre or three foot extensions to screw into each other with uh, this type of coupling um, and uh, they're used for cleaning out um, uh, tubes that um, for oil and gas industry so that altogether there's seven meters of um, of these extensions and with a couple of spiders and that's that's worked very very well for them and um, so that's that's another another little job that's um, that's that that will need to be done now that these um, items have arrived. Um, otherwise, uh, most appreciative of uh, all the feedback I'm getting from uh, from uh, everybody from all over the world, and um, I'm really enjoying doing this, and I hope uh, people are enjoying it as well, and I'm assuming they do. Um, and uh, anything we can do to advance these um, and show how we do things, we'll, um, we'll keep at it.